Unmistakable design, the crisp lines, the narrow frame, sapphire crystal covering a minimalistic style dial, polished stainless steel and elegantly curved lugs supporting a gentle suede leather strap. A soft pastel blue dial complemented by the silver grey of a velvety texture of the two-piece strap. The Nomos Glashute watch is a cherished and almost an iconic watch in the horology community. Firstly, it's very much affordable, around the $2,000 mark. It's got very stark elegance around it. Those thin, tall numerals, a very clean dial. The look is absolutely amazing and still $2,000 is quite steep. Hence, Seastern came to the rescue, giving us a homage that gives us a look and a feel for the Nomos watch. And that homage, I think, did rather well because we're gonna pay $62 for a watch that gets sapphire crystal, a self winding automatic movement, a very thin line case of just over nine millimeters. It's a stainless steel construction. This is a lovely watch by Seastern, so big thank you. Now, 62 bucks. The link is in the description, so do check it out if you're after a sharp price. And now let's get into the full and comprehensive review where I'll tell you all about this watch. Let's do it. With regards to the dimensions, we get a diameter of 39 millimeters, a lug to lug length of 46, a height of 9.1 millimeters, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. On the wrist, the watch sits right on my 6.5 inch wrist, as it would do on almost any wrist size. It gets a minimalistic design. Let's look at the lug to lug length. 46 millimeters, that is a very modest size. It gets a very thin nine millimeter profile and a wide open canvas featuring tall skinny numerals, the pencil thin hands stretching out, but the orange accent on the large second sub dial is what makes this piece grab your heart. Let's glance at the flank, logical and straight cut, almost clinical, yet the polished finish creates interesting light play. The razor thin rivet, two thirds of the way up on the flank make the case more engaging. The elegant and thin profile of the lugs add to the exclusivity feeling of the piece. The flat slab of sapphire crystal is a notch above the narrow frame, just a hairline or so. On the right, we get a signed 5.4 millimeter in diameter push-pull crown. It's polished and elegant once again. The notchy threading all play towards the stark and sophisticated aesthetic. Flip the watch over to the exhibition case back with the specs on the perimeter. This is a 5 ATM water resistant watch. Also you'll notice the leather strap is a quick release type. A nice touch on a budget friendly $60 piece. The buckle on the strap is actually brushed with the brand name inscribed on the top left of the clasp. So we do get these little hints of elegance everywhere around this watch and that is really appreciated once again looking at this very budget price point. And now let's take a closer look at the dial. How do these tall numerals and paper thin indices create so much visual magnetism? You'll notice the hour markers are loomed, just like the pencil styled hands. Thankfully, the loomed elements manifest to the chilly hue that lasts and surprises with the brightness as well as the longevity here. The small seconds dial is slightly sunken to create visible contrast with the main dial. The orange highlight creates an accent that stands out from the black and blue, but its size doesn't cause misalignment to the overall classy theme of the piece. Powering on the watch is a self-winding automatic movement by Siegel, the ST1701, which provides us with a 3 Hz movement or 21,600 beats per hour and a power reserve of 40 hours. It also gets 20 joules. So here we are for $62 we pick up an automatic rather thin piece but it's a Seastern and Seastern in my eyes is lots of refinement really high quality stuff and $62 that's like the price you'd be paying for a Caterson or Pagani design and like middle of the road Pagani or Caterson but this is a really beautiful watch by Seastern. Anywho the price of $62, the link to that price is in the description below the video, so do check it out 
if you're after a good price. Now, that is an affiliate link, meaning that if you do make a qualified purchase, I will be getting some kickback from AliExpress. It doesn't cost you anything, but I get some commission and I use it to buy more watches to bring in and review for you. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.